I'm Dre. And I'm Kelly. And we're sisters from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. You know why it's going to be really good? Because you made it. Because I I'll made it. I'll tell you the truth. We've cooked all our lives. We love to cook. My mom was the best cook ever. We would go to church on Sundays, come home, and she would tear the kitchen up. So it's very important that we continue the tradition. Woo! How about this? One dinner four years ago, I couldn't find the taste that I wanted, so I decided to make it myself. Here you go, eat up. When we tried it, everyone said it was the best thing they had ever tasted. Everybody enjoying the food? Oh, yeah. yeah. And from that point, we decided to give it a name, Lulu Bag. We named the product after our brother, Mike, whose nickname was Lulu Bag. He was carjacked and taken away from us tragically, and it's our way of keeping his legacy alive. Having a shark taste our product and validate that it is real good will just make this journey all the more sweeter. Sisters, I'm Jure. And my name is Kelly, and we're from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. We're seeking $150,000 in exchange for 10% equity in our company. Now, sharks, let's face it. If you're like us, you like to bang. It's one of the few simple joys and pleasures in life. And if you're like me, you want to bang breakfast, lunch, and dinner. We've created what? a masterpiece product line that will have you wanting to bang everything. <laughs> so without further ado, we would like to introduce you to Joyce's Lulu Bang. Bang. Our unique sauces are infused with herbs, spices, and natural flavors that will literally change the way you eat. Joyce's Lulu Bang will have you screaming, bang! <laughs> but what's most unique about our product line is that it is beautiful on anything, from seafood, poultry, pork, and steak, to rice, pasta, salads, and potatoes. You name it, we, we can bang, bang it. it! So who wants to partner with us and bang that thing with Joyce's <laughs> Lulu Bang? We have samples for you guys to try. Bang that thing! Bang that thing! Bang that thing! Bang. <laughs> I'd like to introduce our daughter, Ashley. She's going to provide That's your daughter? That's your daughter? Yes, that's your daughter? daughter. Wow, wow. Great. wow. I just turned 50 this year, guys. Congratulations. <laughs> you look Absolutely. amazing. You look amazing. So much. Thank you so much, so Ashley. What that means wow. is our sauce is so amazing, you can literally you. eat it on anything. So we prepare four different dishes. We have our famous Lulu Bang Wangs. We actually have our seafood fried rice, our vegetable medley, and then we have a fajita-style chicken and steak. So what we wanted mm. to do was allow you guys an opportunity to taste the sauce mm. and it's, it, you know, just in this pure state. Uh, a person that usually is not really a good cook. Right. The Thank Asian so I love. Oh. You like you it, like it. Yeah. So what we wanted to really share with you guys is how awesome it is and the fact that you can use it on anything. These are your recipes? Yes. Every last one. One of the great challenges of barbecue sauces, and we've had our fair share of them over the years Shipping in Shark Tank, is shelf space. we've tasted great sauce, and this is as good as any. Right. That's not going to be a sauce problem. Is great. No one ever brings their sauce in here and says it's not banging. Yeah. Right. So this right. is no, a banging this, good sauce. This, this but you've got to tell sauce. us what your distribution strategy is to get market share in the sauce business, which is brutally competitive. Oh, we would love to share that story. We started in catering and restaurants. Everyone kept telling us the sauce is the bomb. Right. I mean, it's just amazing. And so we started selling it on small scale. What happened was the largest retailer in the world, Walmart, did a uh, manufacturing summit last year. So we pitched our product and we pretty to much- Walmart. To, to Walmart. To Walmart. And what happened? 800 you know, manufacturers happened. at the end of the day, we walked away with the regional deal. We're in 170 stores. Yeah. You're in 170 Walmart stores? It is so hard to get into Walmart. Tell us about your Walmart business. journey. What's the plan? Are they gonna roll you out to more stores? So again, we've just started with them in um, March. Right. Um, we've already been connected to the Women's Initiative. The Women's Economic I was gonna um, ask Initiative. You that. Yeah. I've had conversations with my senior buyers, um, and she actually said, and I, I really don't toot my own horn, but when we went and presented, she said we were the best that she's ever seen. Kelly, okay. we never okay. asked, what does it cost? Right now, we are manufacturing, including packaging and all of that, for a dollar and ninety cents. And what does it sell for? It sells for uh, three ninety nine retail. In the three months since you started, how much have you sold? We sold a total of, in Walmart by itself, $45,000. How many are you selling a week? Do you so know? So we sell about 500 a week. 
Wow, that's low. How much are you selling right now online? Oh, yeah, we're not selling a lot online. You know, 170 stores, 500 a week is an average of only two and a half bottles uh, a week per store. That's our challenge, you know, because yeah. we're so brand new. I don't think this is going to work. This is never going to be a big online business. I'm sorry. It weighs too much. And it's a competitive space. It's a commodity. To differentiate your product, this is a massive branding exercise. Mm -hmm. In other words, you need a lot more than $150,000. All sharks are still in, but they're concerned about the low sales of Kelly and Jure's sauce company, Lulubang, despite being in numerous locations. I don't think this is going to work. You need a lot more than $150,000 to break into the big leagues. I'm sorry, ladies. I'm out. Thank, Thank you. you for that. Thank you so much for your You know, class. Kevin, time out. You sell online glass jarred cupcakes. Yes, and they weigh, they weigh a tenth of this. Our whole deal is to They're take the liquid. weight out. I've lived this nightmare. The whole shipping thing is beyond a challenge. Let me, let me give you my thoughts. First of all, great. The food, amazing. It is uh, the sauce, bring a tear to a glass eye, right? Amazing. <laughs> Hungry. A tear to a glass <laughs> eye? Yeah, yeah. That's how serious I am. I don't know, let me tell you what I went through and how I experienced this. I, I, I did a deal called Bubba Baker's Boneless Ribs, and Bubba had sauces. What we found out is it was so hard to sell barbecue sauce online because people can't visually taste it. They're very, very heavy and a lot of breakage. We ended up selling the barbecue sauce because the barbecue sauce was in the ribs, a small sample of it, people would taste it and then reorder. But if we didn't have that lead in to grab the people to give them the tasting, we would have never sold any sauce. And I know the issues here, and I can't help you with this. Before so I'm you. Out. Thank you. I find the product packaging a little confusing. Consumers are very fickle. When they walk through that shelf space, you know, it looks very Asian to me. Mm -hmm. Right. I'm, and then I see barbecue sauce, and yet you told me it's good for everything. everything right. I think you've come a really, really long way. You've bagged a massive elephant in terms of Walmart. You've got a great test. You know, the branding will probably have to change a little bit, but it almost feels to me like it's at the beginning. Amazing job, but I just don't think I'm the partner at this point for you. Okay. I'm out. Well, thank you. Thank, thank you, you so very much. much. When I look at you, it reminds me of a saying, some women fear the fire, some women become it. You have become it. And you have done an amazing job. Mm -hmm. And you have an amazing partner in Walmart. For me, when I invest in something, I like to invest in things that are unique. But there are a million barbecue sauces out there. And for that reason, I'm out. Thank you. Guys, you deserve a ton of credit. My challenge is I need to see a company that's going to do $10 million in sales or $50 million in sales over the next 10 years, even five years. But we right? are definitely that company, Mark. I know you um, want to be. I know you well, want to be. I believe that we are, and here's why. Because we've had conversations with Walmart and with ShopRite and all of those guys. The expansion piece of it, we've got that nail, you know. It will happen. It's just not going to happen in the next two or three years. Even if you get out to a thousand stores selling, you know, seven a week, your business will grow and it'll be a great profitable business for you. But that doesn't necessarily mean it's an investable business for me. So for those reasons, I'm out. But again, congratulations. Thank you. You guys deserve just a ton of credit. Thanks. Good luck, ladies. Good luck, Good luck, guys. Thank you. You know what? I do not feel like it was a wasted effort. I would do it all again. We know that it's going to be the sauce in every single household. It's not a matter of if, but when.
the chances of that actually being successful, wrong. even with the Walmart. Wrong. Oh, you're so, oh you're no, wrong. Walmart will get Success behind is them. Did you know everything when you started your first Look, business? I'm looking at it saying, no chance. It's a total commodity. Kevin, what so you're missing, what you're missing, I'm not missing anything. Like I noticed you didn't put a dime into it. The issue is scale. It's not whether or not they'll be profitable. Because they can sell it, they can hire more people to sell it. It's just how much. My whole point about these dialogues we're having with these people with all this glowing encouragement is you're not giving them the real risk profile of what they're spending their time okay, doing. Let's, okay, Kevin, let's talk That's about the, the truth. Let's talk about That's the risk profile. That's the truth. Kevin, you're an idiot. Somebody okay, let has me to tell, tell you, the truth. Let me Thank tell you. goodness I'm here, Mark. Thank goodness so I'm Kevin, here. So, Kevin, Kevin, because you, you think know, maybe... all this glowing stuff, that means the three of them spend the next two years trying to sell a hot sauce? Listen to me, Kevin, listen. I'm not listen. doing this kumbaya stuff. Uh, no, I'm not saying kumbaya. You said they should They should really assess whether or not it's worth the next two years to try and take... Look how far she's come. Wait, what are we supposed to do? Say, My you know what? Is, Give up. I would don't like keep to see going a little because bit you're more never going to get anywhere. Truth. Don't admit, look, how about telling them the truth? Kevin, what if you don't know that? the truth? And what would you have said about my earring organizer? It's like because Damon selling t-shirts. Do you know how many people said the to me, best, this is look. never going to go anywhere. You're not going to get it in any stores. Nobody needs this product. If I had listened to any of them, if I, tried I would not to be find where I am the today. hardest product category to go into to get market share in. I think it would be the barbecue sauce. I remember the guy there is meat. no such remember, thing oh as an God. easy business. Order in the tank. But there are she some knows businesses that. that are born in hell, and this is one of them. I would rather work 80 hours a week to make 50K and work for myself than have a $75,000, $100,000 job working for somebody else. Exactly. If you guys loved it so much, how come not a dime from any of you? It's not her one business. Dime. It's her Just business. Just this kumbaya, we you keep all going gave stuff. good excuses. We didn't say good they're excuses. going kumbaya. Good excuses. I told them the truth. I didn't have to give them an excuse. Shame on you. Shame on you. Where's your eject button?